concept that we were doing earlier, same same kind of technique. He comes in, we're gonna be we're gonna be here, I'm gonna take him down for my guillotine. But instead of rolling back with him this time, I'm gonna spin him in front of me. So instead of putting him in back of me, I'm gonna put him in front. Of me. So I'm here, I'm gonna lift this arm up, and I'm gonna kind of pop my elbow down. So he goes in front. So I'm starting to spin and fall, come back up. So it doesn't matter how you get this position. Normally I like to get into here from just shooting inside and I'll slam my forearm and my hand against the side of his neck and I just rip the side of his neck. What happens when I push my, the side of my hand against his neck, I take the oil off the skin and then it burns. It's just like a huge rug burn. It hurts a lot. Round, lock this up, lift this up, and take this down. Now I can also grab his head with my hand if I if I need to, but normally just with your with your elbow you can do this. You spin him around, and he's going to sit like right in front of me. See how my arm is already kind of out in this position? I'm going to drop down and go into my choke from here. So instead of being on top of him in the stomach, I'm going to be behind him. Now I'm going to roll him over from here. I'm going to come down, my elbow's going to come back, and I'm going to slam to the side of his head with my forearm, with my elbow. And, and we'll finish it off with just a neck crank. So kind of the same thing, just from the back instead of the front. Take him to the front to start instead of the back. Again. Very easy. From here, in, pop. We choke. Spin around, sit, <coughs> right side, or my left side, doesn't matter which side, comes back and it just slams over. And either arm, neck crack. Got that? Easy? Kind of? Alright, set. Ring, however, they come in on somebody, they punch you out or hang it on here. You're inside on somebody. Whatever you're going to do, if you're surprising somebody, just catch them to get their head down. If well, they're already fighting someone, got them close in. What I want to do is try to get this guy to bend over enough to get him around his neck. Okay? What I'm going to do with this now is I'm going to step between his feet and take him right over. So however your combat or street is a surprise moment, even a crotch shot is like the snake. Wind it in, or what I could do, just tuck and grab. What I'm going to do at this point is sit down with me <coughs> and roll over with me. And it's not on my knees. Watch what I do with my knees. Sink my knees in, look up. Good. All over. The Drive his head. This thing is not just on your knees, it's dropping your knees down to this particular position. See it again. Drive right. his head into the mat when you throw him? Uh, well, you don't. You want to not <laughs> be careful what you're looking not, not to hit him. Even if you're talking to a guy, it's part. Hey, boom. Okay. You can take and rock, rock his head into this thing. You're here. And once I'm here, I, I can hold my shirt or my uniform or just make a fist and then drop to the top of my thighs and look up. And it's all over at that point. It's a good air choke. You got your blood chokes to the, to the arteries and you got a good esophagus air choke. This is a bone right straight to the esophagus. Good finishing move for you. All right, a key point, let me finish. A key point with your partner is he's trusting you not to drive his head where? Mm -hmm. To the ground. So I can use my knee. See my knee? To help him get over so his head doesn't drive in the ground. But I want to protect his head from power driving each straight down to the ground. So be careful with your partner on that part, guys. Also, the guy's getting thrown, you know it's coming. Roll into it. You're not roll. There you go. 